Yo guys, what's happening? I'm Aiden MCJ and today's video is on my ST. And I know what you're thinking, what? He's actually gonna do a video on his own car. Is he mad? Well, yes I am. <laughs> I bought a box of goodies for the car and two new uh, tires to put on as well. So the tires are Avon uh, 205-40s R17s. Um, pretty mid-range, so they're pretty decent. Um, we've also got a full service kit in the box and a, radi a new radiator to put on the car as well. So, let's get it. So, luckily I've been able to stick the car on the four-poster ramp, which goes obviously up and down, um, and it's easier to get everything out of the car. But we're gonna start on the spark plugs first. Um, and then we're going to move on to the oil filter, the oil. Um, we have got a new air filter, but I'm not going to put that in just yet um, as I don't want the sound to be deadened by the new air filter so far. Uh, but when I do sell the car, then I'll be changing everything back over with the brand new air filter as well. Uh, we have got a cabin filter to do as well. Um, not sure how much of a pain in the arse that's going to be and then the new radiator and the new tires as well. Okay, so to start off with, we're just gonna pull all four of these out and then get the spark plugs out from under, take them out and then I'll show you what the difference is between the new ones and the old ones because uh, they've been in for about 16,000 miles in about a year. Yeah, they're going to be pretty gunky, I guess. So we have the old spark plug, as you can see here, and this is the new spark plug. Sorry about the focus, guys. It keeps uh, skipping in and out, so you can obviously see. Oh my God. There you go. Uh, so obviously this is like quite old. Um, doesn't look too bad for being so old. And this is obviously the new one to replace it, which looks loads better. So I'm going to get all four out, replace them, and then we're going to move on. Okay guys, so all four of the old spark plugs are out. They, uh, they all look pretty bad to be fair. Um, very dry. Uh, but obviously they have been in for about a year and 16,000 miles as well. So it can take its toll. So I've put all the new ones in. I'm going to plug the um, HT leads back in or from the coil pack um, and then we're going to start on getting the oil out of it. Okay so underneath the car the sump plug is here, uh, just going to drop the old oil out and then go get the new oil out of the box over there um, and then put the, no, then put the, get the old oil filter off, put the new oil filter on. Uh, then put some new fluids in. Hopefully it should be very uh, lubricate hard. <laughs> Sorry, I can't keep serious. Can't, I just can't. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to take the old sump plug off and try not to cover myself in oil. Not going to go well. I can tell that already. Um, so... <sighs> Wish me luck, guys. And here we go. You ready, guys? Hold on. I haven't. I haven't got hold of the tub very well. Here we go. It's seeping, and ah! <laughs> and I got covered in oil. Yay! <laughs> now it is uh, one to note that the oil was pretty much new not too long ago. Um, because I ran low and Jake filled it up for me with some newer oil. So it's probably healthier than it should have been. Yeah. Let all that drain out for a good, say, 10 minutes and then we'll work on getting that oil filter off, new oil filter, put the sump back on and then some new fluids. Okay, so the oil is all drained out from the sump plug. The sump plug is back in. Uh, in this particular model, there is no uh, crush washer. Uh, most cars you'll find that there is a crush washer. On this one, there isn't. Got a seal on the inside. Uh, it's like a rubberized seal on the actual sump. Uh, 
and now we're going to remove the filter make sure that you do pick up the uh, oil thing because there is going to be some more oil sitting in the filter um, and around that as well so that's going to need draining as well so we're going to take that out and then we're going to screw the new one in and then we're probably going to move on to new fluid Okay guys, so it's time to put the new oil in. So these ST150s take about 4.3 litres. Uh, so I'm probably going to put in about 3.7 litres, uh, something like that, and then put the extra bit in after I've checked the dipstick to make sure that it's not going over the uh, limit. So that is all of the fluid changed in the ST. So what's next? The air filter is next. Obviously I've got the Funk Motorsport um, air filter behind me. It's a little bit tired now, so I'm actually going to put the stock system back on uh, the car. Um, not sure what that's gonna do performance-wise, probably about maybe three brake horsepower or something uh, difference to uh, what it would be running now. Um, so basically pretty much back to stock um, I might fiddle with getting another air filter for it at some point um, but obviously I'm thinking of getting rid of the car at the moment so uh, probably going to keep it in stock form um, it's a good thing that I've kept it in the boot all this time isn't it <laughs> so I'm going to get it out the boot then change the air filter uh, I'm probably not going to bother with the cabin filter today uh, in the video I'm probably just going to do that um, at some other point off the video because that's just boring I don't need to bore you with that um, and then we're going to move on to the uh, tyres uh, put the new tyres on and then the radiator as well so let's go get the air filter on don't judge my engine bay anyway guys because it's dead uh, dead bad at the moment so if we open this up there is the old filter um, and all this literally all just all makes your car run worse basically and that's the old air filter out of the old bit where I uh, first got the car um, loads of dust in there as well so I'm gonna clean that out just before I put the new air filter in actually guys so yeah let me clean this out and then I'll show you the new filter there is the new filter I've cleaned out underneath uh, with Blake uh -uh. with brake and clutch cleaner um, then obviously dried it all out um, and that is the new filter to go in. Uh, obviously you can see the massive difference from putting just the uh, normal air filter onto the actual throttle body then having it go through this because obviously uh, it's going through the back of this into that then it's going over here and then being sucked into the throttle body. So obviously with all this gone it's direct air injection basically um, which is loads better for the engine I think because obviously through this being on top of there it's then got to squeeze through these little holes and then be pushed into the engine instead of just you know direct air into the throttle body so update guys um, I'm putting the more K and N ish style one back on the car okay guys so obviously Jake has took the fan shroud off of the radiator. Uh, the radiator is now exposed. He's broken a clip in the in process. I haven't broken anything. It's technically, yeah. He broke my f***ing clip. You know the best part? Uh, about it? It's on the existing radiator. It's 11 new one the radiator. I just saw it. So 11 new one with the new radiator. Um, so yeah, we've got the new radiator to go to go in. So I'm going to drop the coolant out of this radiator. Uh, obviously let that get all the coolant out um, and then we're gonna mess about trying to get the old radiator out put the new one in and then fill it with coolant again and then we're gonna do the new Avon tires oh yeah <laughs> Ok 
Okay guys, so it was an absolute ball ache to get the old radiator out. Uh, Jake's pretty much got it out. Uh, he's got the, obviously the rad for the aircon was attached to it as well. But the new radiator is now in. Um, all the pipes are connected. Now I'm gonna go get some coolant, put the coolant in, um, and then we're gonna attach the fan shroud to the back of it. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much done for that side. So as you can see underneath the car, uh, there's no actual leaks or anywhere. Um, and the new fan, well, the old fan, uh, but the new radiator and the fan shroud is now connected. So now we're gonna run it up to temperature again, uh, make sure all the things with the coolant are fine, um, and then start on the wheels. Okay, so now we're at the wheels. I've just took them off and now Jake is removing the tires to put the new ones on. A massive amount of tread compared to the old ones as the uh, old ones are pretty, pretty uh, bold. Jesus Christ. I know why they ain't know me, so I switch pots. Not running out of fish, so fuck a pit stop. I've been balling since a youngin', so I take shots. She just wanna fuck me, cause she know I get guac. I hit the jackpot, you a mascot. I want big rocks on my wristwatch. I know why they ain't know me, so I switch pots. Not running out of fish, so fuck a pit stop. Hold the wrist, I had to get the bag. Ice on my wrist. Diamonds move a lag Never switch in position, that's what money be in my bag I don't think I for all the shit that I got, I never had Now that I'm in it, I got a ball Roll to the wrist, and downs I froze She wanna fuck, I'm nose Taking it down, I'm nose That kick it out, adios So now Jake has put the tire on the one side of the ST wheels uh, He's on to balancing it now, so obviously this is quite a um, well, it's not hard or anything, is it, really? It's quite simple with a machine. Um, obviously, the, the wheel calculates what weights need to be used, um, whether the wheel's buckled and stuff, which it looks like it might be a little bit. Yeah, I've been told up here. All right, okay, so it's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, sound. So he's now going to do the wheel alignment, so I'm going to put a little bit of slow-mo and a little bit of the usual. Hold up now, I'm talking shit. Uh, Sammy walk to the whip every night, get lit. How much do you reckon you'd be at I reckon maybe 35 grams. Something like that, yeah. 40, 55. 40, 55. Jeez. So if you have a look, guys, that is what the screen looks like. There you go, so obviously it tells Jake exactly by laser uh, what, so obviously 55 on the out, uh, the inside rim, and then 40 on the outside rim, and we have a look at the machine down here, you can see the laser alignment, so it tells him exactly where to put the weights and whereabouts, um, so obviously he's just going to use some cleaning alcohol, rub it on the wheels, because obviously the brake dust and stuff, to get the weights to stick, and these are all the different weights, and then obviously it makes the, uh, well, it basically makes the wheel go proper straight then because it's very well balanced then. And that is it guys. The car is all back together, full service, uh, new air filter, oil, uh, oil filter, uh, cabin filter I'm gonna fit at some other point because it wouldn't be asked. Um, obviously Jake's just finished off the tyres in the background for her um, so yeah she's complete now and what I will be doing uh, before I do get rid is we'll be going on a track day so make sure you stay tuned to uh, see that in the future so if you did like the video then please do drop a like down uh, at the bottom comment and also subscribe and hit that bell notification to be updated every time I upload and that is it guys, so we'll see you in the next one. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm bleeding. But them other man need feeding. I don't wanna go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab.